back on Inside Tennessee with our talk around my colleague John North and John. Let's just remind people we're in an important time for the city. Five of the nine council seats are up. That means all the incumbents are running to stay another four years. Election day is Tuesday. If you haven't voted early already, then you should be going to the vote to the polls on Tuesday. If you live in the city of Knoxville, for sure, something to remember. Um, you will be voting for candidates in the district with which in which you live. Now, if you live in District 5, you don't have a candidate running. But if you live uh, in 1, 2, 3, 4, or 6, you will be voting on Tuesday. And the top two vote getters will advance on to the November uh, election. I think they call it the regular regular election. I always hang on that and, regular election and, and another point that people should keep in mind th some will only see two candidates on their ballot because that's all that's running so those people will automatically move into the November election so think of this as the bragging rights election that's and right. we've had a chance to talk to all the candidates almost all the candidates in all the races John what stood out to you about any through lines I'd say two or three for sure. Violence, there's concern about violence. There's also concern about the police department and making sure that it has enough resources to respond. Some disagree with that, but generally speaking, you hear a lot more of that. And then one of the issues that I have heard, maybe not with the six, but certainly other districts, is the uh, question of the homeless and what we do about to help them out. We know the stadium as well has been a big topic of discussion across the community, but uh, if my memory serves, we haven't heard any candidate in particular say that's a bad idea I wouldn't vote for it under any circumstances. John what I've heard is some who might say I still need to see some numbers or have that assurance about the funding but mostly honestly what I've heard is yeah that sounds like a pretty good idea we ought to do it. John anything we should take away from turnout that we see in the primary versus what we might see in the regular election? <sighs> Maybe a little bit hard to see. I would hope for sure that uh, if turnout is low for Tuesday and was low for early, that it picks up and it should pick up for the uh, November election. Tough to drum up a lot of interest because we don't have a mayoral race in this one, but uh, we certainly know that it is our responsibility as citizens to vote. So both John and I endorsing that, please get out and do cast your ballot. If you've missed any of the conversations with the candidates, you can go to our website, WBIR.com, and see some of those older Inside Tennessees. We're going to leave you with a look at the district map so you can see where in the city you live and who you'll be voting for.